Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be doing a clay project. Voice over Sammy here. Today we will be doing a ceramic vase project. What we will need is slip. It is B-mix clay mixed with water and we'll need a paintbrush with that. We'll need a clay knife or non-sharp knife wire clay cutter, a string or a, or a fishing line if you don't have the wire clay cutter, part of an old comb or an old fork, a rolling pin, Tyvek, something so the clay doesn't stick to the surface. Tyvek is actually the stuff that they put on a house before putting on the siding. So I will show you that later. A ball of B-mix clay, and I'll show you what B-mix clay looks like as well. I'm just gonna go over what we need one more time. This is the slip that I use. This is the clay knife. And that is the clay wire cutter there. I use this comb here. I use this rolling pin. This is one of my old ones. This is Tyvek. This is what helps the clay not stick to the surface. You can buy this at any hardware store. And this is our B mix clay. Okay, so we need to have our Tyvek on our surface. We need to get our clay and then the wire cutter, and we're gonna place that and pull that back towards us. And then there we have our base. It's our base for our coil pot or our coil vase. So you need to smash it down just a little bit before you use your rolling pin. And you just need to roll that out there we don't want it too thin, but we don't want it too thick either. And I'll show you how thick it is here in a little bit um, after we cut it. But yes, I'm just rolling this out. Um, you need to put even pressure whenever you're rolling this back and forth. And just keep, just keep your pressure just right. And now I'm going to grab my mug and place it on the clay and I'm going to trace around that with my clay knife. I'm just gonna try to make the best circle that I can, but you know, sometimes you just get off of that circle just a little bit, and that's okay, that's fine. If you can't make a perfect circle, and as you can tell, see, I, I, I had to, <laughs> I have to go around and then I have to cut that part so I can get this off of here without it taking the rest of my base away. So see, you, you can kind of see how thick this is here. And I'm showing you there just what, you know, how it looks. And we need to place that to the side. And we're taking some of our scrap and squishing that. And we're going to make our coils with this. So we're just squishing and then we're taking our fingers and our palms and moving it back and forth, but we're starting at the center and moving our way out to the, to the sides. And then you can just place that one aside and then you get another piece of clay and you squish that one and you just roll it again. The middle of your, the middle of your coil out to the sides. And then you go middle of the coil out to the sides. And you just do this again and again and then you just grab some more we're grabbing this clay and we're actually making uh we're getting more clay to make the coils so that's what i'm doing here is i'm cutting the clay and then so i could so it will be easier to get the clay sorry about my cat's tail he decided he wanted to help us work today <laughs> And you just take that clay and I had to roll this one in my hands because it was a bit thicker. So I rolled it in my hands and then I placed it down 
on the Tyvek and I'm doing the same motion again, center to the outside. And that's what they look like. So I'm grabbing more clay here. I'm going to grab those clay pieces and, and tear those off. So it's a little bit easier. There's my cat again. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> he loves to help me work. So sometimes he can get in the way just a little bit, but I like having him around. So I'm just placing those extra pieces of clay on the side. This one's thick too. So I'm rolling that in my hands a little bit. And then I'm just doing the same motion center to outside. And you can see this coil, part of it is a little smaller than the rest. So I'm having to work one side a little more than the other side. And then um, I had to resituate my Tyvek because I didn't tape it down. So it's a good idea to tape that down to your surface. But then I actually have this right here. And we're going to have eight coils all together. That's what we need is eight coils. So I'm just kind of doing the same motion again. If some of them are a little bigger than other ones, that's okay. So now I'm going to grab my base and I'm going to place that down on the surface here. And I'm just kind of shaping it just the slightest bit. And then I'm looking for my comb. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make a bit of a texture on there. We're going to what is called score the surface. We're going to score the surface of this clay. Once we have that, I'm just showing you there that I scored all the way around. Place that and we're going to get our slip. My slip is a little runny but it will work. It'll work just fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that slip around our bottom where we have scored that at. And I'm just showing you there. That's what that looked like, that slip. And then I'm going to take my coil and I am going to get my comb and I'm going to score the coil. Now the reason we score both of these, we score the coil and the bottom, it's kind of like Velcro. Whenever two piece, the two pieces of Velcro stick together, it sticks together really well. So it's not going to come, it's not going to come apart whenever we're trying to put it together. So you just need to place that down on the scored surface need to place those two scored pieces together. And then for this coil, I'm going to cut off the end of this coil so it fits together better. Um, most of those we won't do that with, but this one I do. I actually just cut that end off of there. You just smooth and push the side of it onto the other one so it will stick together. I'm going to go ahead and score this coil. So we need to put this slip on there. And then we get our coil. Put that on there after we have scored it after we have put a little texturing on that outside of that. We need to place those two together. So basically it's like we're building up. We're taking those coils and building up. So with this one, I will place the extra bit of that coil onto the other one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to score that part of that coil where the other one goes on top. So I score it, then I put slip on it, and then I will get another one and do the same. I'm just showing you there that that's what it looks like whenever I have the coils together. And then I'm just scoring that coil there. And I'm gonna take the other one and do the same. I'm gonna score that one as well. And then I'm gonna put the slip on the coil 
and I'm just going to put that all the way around. And then I'm going to take this coil and I'm going to slip it in there where, where that little dent is. It's a little too deep in there. So I'm going to put that coil on there in that way. And then see, there's the extra and it goes over the top of that one. So it kind of fits together like that. It goes together like that. So I'm just kind of shaping it so it doesn't go off the edge. And then I skip forward here. We should have eight coils here and they're going to be stacked up on top of each other. So we just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again until we have our eight coils. And so I, right here, I'm just doing uh, the slip and score again. So I'm putting my slip on there. I've scored it. I've scored the other coil and I'm just putting that around there and placing it. I'm placing it just a little bit further in than the rest of the coils because this is going to be the top and I just tear the end of that off of there and I'm squishing that together. And I'll show you here. You can see the inside how the coils have been placed together. And this is how the coils are placed on the outside. Please join me in the next video. We will be smoothing and decorating the outside of the surface. Please like and subscribe. There'll be more clay projects to come. See you next time. Bye.